Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.7, number 37. And here we were told that we've got a research student who's working with bacteria, and we see that this, this culture doubles in size every 20 minutes. So I'm going to highlight that. That's going to be important. We also see that the initial population was 1,350 bacteria. And it says, rounding to five significant digits, write an exponential equation representing this situation, and then figure out what is the bacteria population after three hours. So this last part here, I'm going to do at the end. The first thing I need to do, let me highlight, this is the part I'll do at the end, the yellow stuff. The first thing I need to do is come up with my exponential model. Now, it actually formally says get an exponential equation, but once I see that something's doubling, that you're multiplying to get to the next um, population value, I know that's going to be an exponential model. So I see, okay, I'm going to have an exponential model, so I'm going to use that as my formula, the A naught equaling E to the KT. It's the same formula as PERT, right? PE to the RT. And sometimes instead of a Y on the right, excuse me, on the left side of the equation, we have an A when we were doing some of those money problems. But it's the same thing. Some amount is your initial value times your exponential growth rate. I don't care what letters you use to write that up, whether it's Y, A sub zero, and K, or it's A, P, and R. It doesn't matter. It's the same function. All right, so let's let's talk about the ordered pairs that I heard about while I was in here. So the first thing I heard was the initial population was 1,350. So my ordered pair there is 0, 1,350. And then I hear that it doubles, right? It says, hey, it doubles in size every 20 minutes. So if I go 20 minutes later, then I'm going to have twice 1,350. And if you double 1,350, you're going to be at 2,700. And all I need are two ordered pairs to make this work. And whenever I get an ordered pair that is the y-intercept, and I want to point this out, right? This is the y-intercept, which is a nice point to have. Once you know, if you have the y-intercept, you automatically get your initial starting value. So if, I, if you're not sure how I went from this step to this step, I literally plug in 0 for t and 1350 for y. So I get 1350 equals a sub 0 e to the k times 0. Well, k times 0 is 0. Right, and e to the zero is one, so this is just a naught, and that's where I'm getting my initial value of 1350. And then I'm going to plug in my other ordered pair, 20, 2700, right? And then I'm going to solve for k, and that's what you see me doing here. So I put in 2700 for y, 20 for t, and I already knew a sub zero was 1350. And then it's a matter of solving this exponential equation for k, and so. I have my, my variable up in the exponent, so I need to isolate the exponential term. That is always your game plan. All right, so I'm going to isolate my exponential term by dividing by both sides by 1350. This will cancel here. 2700 in ratio to 1350 is 2 because we had a doubling function. Now let me erase this because it gets a little bit crowded. All right, so now I have my isolated exponential term. That's great. So it's time to log both sides. I'm going to opt to use the natural log because that is base E. So these will cancel, right? And then I'm getting 20K is equal to ln2. And all I need to do is divide ln2 by 20. And I'm going to go five significant digits because that's what the direction said. So you see me going 0.03466. And there is my exponential function. All right, so now that I'm through getting the exponential model, right, I did that. I want to solve this to the nearest whole number. What is the population after three hours? And a lot of folks are just going to plug in three here. And you have to remember, you have to go back and think about the units. So I'm going to highlight this. And I want you to see that we had minutes here, but hours here. right? So we had a difference in units. And since I built this model using minutes, right? you can see that I used the minutes over here with 20. Well, I'll put 0 and 20, respectively. I need to convert three hours into minutes. So if we think about three hours, that's actually 180 minutes, and that's the value I wanna plug in for T. So that's what I'm plugging in here. And when I plug in 180 minutes, I get 69,000, excuse me, 691,200 bacteria present um, after three hours, all right? And that's rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay, so thanks so much, gang. I'll see you later, bye.